Hello, this is Frontline here, and welcome back to another episode of Mastercraft. In this episode, we are going to be doing quite a bit of awesome projects. Right now, I have planned that we are going to try and finish up this little iron farm area. I mean, we're not going to finish it up, but we're going to try to make a little bit more progress on it than we have before. So the main thing is that we've already done the main parts of the iron farm that are iron farm related. What we've been working on and what I started in the last episode is a AFK fish farm. And I actually uh, finished this thing in the last episode. Honestly, it didn't take that long to make. It's like up here we have the uh, fishing rod fish a ton. In between episodes, I actually uh, upgraded this thing a lot, so it has mending, lure, luck of the sea, and then breaking. This is actually the best fishing rod you can get. Those are all the enchantments you can put on it. But yeah, if you don't know how this works, you basically just cast a line with the fishing rod. Let's actually grab it to really demonstrate. But you keep like uh, uh, using the left trigger here. I think it's right clicking on the uh, PC. I don't think this version of the uh, AFK Fish Farm even works on PC anymore, but you know, it works on console, so we're going to use it. This is the panda design, and we basically just keep on clicking. Once we click on the uh, door, then it makes it so we uh, cast our line again. So once it bobs down, the door closes, and we catch a fish. So that's pretty much how that system works. We'll just uh, put this bow away and turn this thing off for a second. But yeah, I've been fishing a lot. It goes all into this chest. We don't have a storage system yet, and I don't want to work on that immediately at the beginning of this episode, because it may be a little bit boring. We're going to do some interesting projects, but first I'm going to update you on what we got from this thing. So we got like a bunch of different uh, fishing rods. Some of them are really good, like this one is uh, only one enchantment away from being the best fishing rod in the game. Got various books you can look through them, and Breaking Book is a really good one. And we also get lots of awesome bows, so we might actually upgrade Rocky here to have mending and all that. But yeah, again, these things are things for the future. We also have a sustainable food source. We have cooked salmon. That's pretty good. It's like uh, one thing that you might have noticed in the previous episodes is that I've been like changing my food out almost constantly. It's like we had, um, uh, we had like steak, we had rabbit, we had, um... Uh, do we ever have bread? I'm not sure. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make here is that we have a bunch of foods, but now we don't have to worry about that. So what are we going to do in this episode? How about we actually explain ourselves? So these things right here are new. I have constructed them on each of these sides, and they actually go all the way down to the bottom of the world. Well, not the bottom of the world, but the bottom of the ocean. And that is because we're going to create a minecart elevator there's going to be a minecart right here and we're able to just drop right on down and we're going to try to create a nice little ocean base here the main idea i want to have for this place is that we'll just be able to kind of go up and down in this iron farm structure we'll be able to afk here whenever we feel like it go to the fish farm at top and then go to our base at the bottom check out these villager guys i just want this whole entire place to be really accessible that's the design I've been going for. That's the reason why we have all of these staircases, why we're going to create these pillars. But yeah, I've been rambling on literally for minutes now, so let's actually start getting progress on these guys. I'm going to construct the uh, minecart elevators. I have not built this in the other areas, but here is a prototype just so that we're on the same page of knowing what kind of minecart elevator we're making. We're making the very basic minecart elevator that uh, uses the ladders and the mine carts where you just kind of stand at the bottom, you keep clicking upward, and then once you reach the top, you just get out. And yeah, this is this is the design I'm going for. I think once we get to the top, it'll become necessary to have another mine cart over, like in this area, like on this ground level, so that we don't just randomly pop out and fall back into the water. That's kind of a problem. It's like if you get out and like I don't think if you have these blocks here, you actually might end up being in the water. Yeah, you just fall out. And we don't want that to happen, but I think that the only way we can avoid it is just so that we don't actually get out of the mine carts. Just it's all user based, no redstone mechanics or blocks placed cuz that's kind of a problem. It's like uh, I actually don't want that thing to look bulkier than it does. 
already I think it kind of looks a little bulky just having it be like a uh, little star shaped thing because I want it to look a little bit less dense than these main pillar structures here I honestly think these look really cool with like the trap doors and stuff but I can't do that with these because if I have a trap door on this side I can't have a trap door on this side and it would just be this giant mess so we're going to do it the normal way and yeah hopefully this thing is easy enough to build I know it's going to be a pain once we get underwater but I'm still going to try it anyway all right, so we built one of these things. It doesn't really lead anywhere because I haven't actually established the bottom of the uh, ground yet, which I might have to do. So, I mean, I guess I also got to remove that dirt, but that was kind of temporary dirt because that made it so that I was able to actually work underwater without any problems with the mine carts being all weird. But yeah, basically if I just hop down here, you can see the ladders just make me able to fall all the way down really smoothly. I mean, one of the problems that I have is that we're on Minecraft console and we'll actually eventually maybe run into a problem with minecart uh, capacity. However, this thing will only, I actually calculated, this will only use maybe about 40 minecarts. I don't think that's enough for the uh, minecart limit, but we'll have to see. So a weird glitch kind of happens when you uh, switch minecarts and that's that you actually like go outside of the minecart a little bit off to the side but eh, it's all right we're able to just pop right up to the top and then we're able to get out of this one so that's pretty much how it works we just keep going right up we went from the bottom of the ocean all the way to the top of the world i'll have to get rid of this little bit of dirt down here but yeah we are making some pretty good progress to being able to make a nice uh, underwater base here we are not in the super amazing uh, Mastercraft world at the moment, but instead we are in a testing world because the last clip actually made me really curious as to how many minecarts you could have in a world. Because I was under the impression that it was like maybe like 50 or 100, but I checked. There are a lot of minecarts here, by the way. There is a bunch of counting, and it came down to, as you can see, we can't actually place down any more carts, and animals have started roaming into these things. I counted 250, which is an extraordinary number, especially because I actually was uh, searching it up. I was like, how many minecarts can you fit in a world? And uh, just when they implemented the uh, cap of minecarts, that like the first cap they ever did was only 40. So I was actually really afraid that we would get really close to the cap. But no, that we can have 250 minecarts in this awesome Xbox One world. I'm not sure if it's the same for 360, but you know what? I'm sticking with uh, this anyway. So really, really, we're just not going to have any problems. Look at the slime. I, I love when the slime gets into it because it doesn't even look like it can fit into the minecart. And the minecart's glitching. It's like phasing in and out of existence. I just love this place. Th this was this was a great experience. I'm glad that the. Uh, I'm glad that the internet didn't actually immediately give me the answer just so I could have the opportunity to see this. Now we are back on the Mastercraft server and uh, the main thing that actually provoked me to test out how many minecarts there was was the fact that I actually ignored that we actually weren't at the uh, complete bottom of the sea. You can see here, well you might be able to see, I'm not sure if you can see too well, but down here, if I just breathe a little bit, it's like we're actually not at the bottom if we sink down you can see that the pillars actually go down a lot further and here is kind of the bottom of the ocean I wanted to build my structure on so really we're gonna actually have to terraform this land which means honestly I'm probably going to get a different helmet because my helmet right now has no respiration or aqua affinity or anything to it that allows me to work underwater so to get a helmet that can make me work underwater would be very much appreciated so we can break blocks faster and actually see what we're doing because that clip was very very dark. I am back from my enchanting session and we actually did more than just get our helmet. So up here you can see we have this brand new helmet, respiration 3 protection, 4 and then breaking 3. We'll have to get some mending armor at some point because honestly all of this is temporary at the moment except for my uh, elytra. But yeah, it's like uh, we actually also, while we were over there, got a new bow, Rocky 2, 
which uh, replaced our old one. So the only difference is that this one has mending. So now we'll be able to just kind of fly around whenever and we'll never have to worry about replacing our bow nor our elytra wings because these ones, as I mentioned before, have mending and unbreaking on them. So anyway, now that we are back, I also repaired this shovel that has uh, mending on it and we'll just be able to kind of fly down here really quickly. Oh, right there you can see the respiration effect. It really doesn't help like uh, looking around this place too much. Oh man, the elytra flying is really making the camera go funky right now, but it doesn't really help that much in uh, being able to see, but it does do somewhat of a thing. It's like, it's very foggy. That's the one thing I can say about this. It is very foggy. However, one thing you might have noticed is that I've not actually had to breathe in a really long time and with the respiration, I won't have to. I'll just be able to kind of go down here, mine these blocks however I feel like it. I don't have aqua affinity, so I'm not able to mine these blocks that fast, but it, it still does the job. And I think that this process will be a lot quicker and a lot easier because of this. We are at the bottom of the world right now. Well, not the bottom of the world, but we're at the bottom of the sea. And we have actually... Uh, cleared out the pillars, all of them come to the same height right here. Of course, this one was kind of an alleyway. I didn't want to actually get rid of everything because it took a really long time to just mine out a little bit of that without Aqua Affinity. So then I put Aqua Affinity onto my helmet and even then it still took a really long time to quarry this out. Maybe I'll get a beacon at some point with haste that can allow me to mine this stone instantly, but for now, it's just a grind. So, I uh, got all of these guys down here now. We're apparently going to suffocate if we don't get into a little bit of a safe zone. But, kind of my plan is just we'll have kind of tunnels leading about. And I haven't actually designed the layout yet. But, you can see it's like we got the four corners. Pretty much wherever you go, you can just kind of run right through here and then go right up a uh, awesome minecart elevator that brings you all the way to the top in basically no time at all. Because I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there you can see the uh, bottom. We just zipped right on up. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So the next thing we are going to do, I'm not sure. I feel like we should actually finish up some other projects before we start work on that. Like... The main thing that I wanted to do this episode at the end is to actually finish this AFK fish farm because this thing was so neglected last episode we need to actually make this thing have a proper storage system because I've actually been fishing a lot recently. We have a bunch of books, a bunch of bows and fishing rods and all sorts of various items that I need to sort out but yeah. That's probably what we're going to do next, and we'll just try to at least arrange the chests that they're going to end up being like. I need more wood to be able to demonstrate my point fully, but for now I have a lot of chests that I have laid out. So the main thing right here is that I have 11 items that are uh, able to be obtained from fishing. Now, of course, there are more than 11 items normally, However, we're sorting them into different places. So over here, what I think we're going to do is we're going to have fish, salmon, and puffer fish. Then over here, we're going to have clownfish and all the various other stackable items like maybe a lily pads, some uh, name tags, all that kinds of stuff will go into this little area right here. So it'll sort the fish, then it'll sort those items. Because it has sorted through all of the items, we don't actually need an iron filter over here. Just anything left over will go into this bulk storage system, which is any items that uh, like aren't stackable, like the uh, different bows, the saddles, the books. The books will be very important to be able to get because they are one of the reasons for having the farm, like getting an unbreaking three book just by fishing. I mean, seriously, it's like this farm is going to give us a tons upon tons of good stuff. Once we actually are able to AFK here for longer than maybe like an hour at a time, which I've been doing because we only have one chest, of course. 
then we'll be able to use this giant mass area here and uh, yeah we can pretty much go for days upon days just with this system it's like these things these things are the things that fill up the fastest and all the others you can just kind of let them be but one thing is this is actually similar to uh, my AFK fish farm, I, or not the AFK fish farm, AFK skeleton farm, in which all the items can be dispensed out here. These are all non-stackable ones, and if we ever need to get rid of a bunch of materials, like let's say we have um, a bunch of items there, I mean, of course it won't be cobblestone, but you know, if we uh, want to get rid of them, we can unflick this lever. That means that this hopper is unlocked. It will start dispensing items over this way and we can probably have this like lead into a dispenser which can go into lava or a cactus or something over here and uh, we're gonna have the same on every single side I don't know what I'm gonna do about this area because honestly I kind of want this area to be symmetrical and it's very difficult to do that with my setup so I'll figure out a way I might just have them lead under these hoppers but at the same time that would make things very difficult in sorting so yeah i'm just gonna have to figure something out i'll catch you in the next clip i need to gather some more wood because i'm completely out of the stuff i only have 12 hoppers no more chests and yeah we're going to try to finish this in this episode hopefully we'll be able to have time i just want to get a uh, item elevator and have it at least work if not have the item filtration now we have made a little bit more progress and I actually figured out uh, in between clips also how I'm going to do this little uh, dispensing option. So, you know, as I uh, had before, we're just going to have like uh, levers on the top of here like this. We're Instead of actually on the actual thing itself though, we're just going to have it uh, on this block and then the redstone lamps will be behind it so that... Uh, Whenever you uh, flick the lever on a redstone lamp here, it won't power the ones beside it. And it's like, uh, we, we just want it to only power one block instead of it uh, messing with the others. So, uh, right here is the middle, and this one, the hopper line, is actually connecting over this way into the same area. So it does keep a little bit of symmetry in that sense. And uh, once it goes to the other side, it goes on this way. So both sides all connect to each other I think that this is a, a good compromise to being able to uh, make it look aesthetically pleasing and uh, just make it also functional so now I'm pretty much going to just place in the levers hopefully be able to sort out all of uh, these items maybe place some of them that I've already fished over here because I have punches of items I have lily pads I've got name tags leather bones yeah, there's lots of various items that you get when fishing so we're just going to do that right now and then we might actually create a uh, item elevator i really wanted to finish this project today but honestly i really do not think it is possible with the amount of time i got so the main thing is that uh, we have really created most of our system here but we have no elevator that can get the items into here. We need to build filtration systems and be able to have a little system to be able to dispense items into lava or whatever we're going to end up having it. So originally I thought that this project was actually going to be really simple and it was going to be very boring to implement, but it's very interesting the uh, different uh, problems I'm trying to solve in this area because I actually created a system like this like almost the concept was almost identical to what I'm doing right now in my uh, Frontmine Raincraft series from before where I just have the uh, various fishes over here I have all these different items and the uh, unstackable items here but it's just taking a long time. I forgot how long and tedious it is to be able to get all these resources. And I've munched through my wood all over again. Even though I thought that I grabbed enough uh, from my storage system. Really we ran out of chests already. And we only have 40 hoppers to be able to get through this entire thing. I don't think that's possible. And I don't think I have enough time. 
but we created a whole entire system where we can sort our items at. You can see I got clown fish, I got the uh, tripwire hooks. I also rearranged the uh, item frames a little bit because they were originally sticking out, but I felt like uh, this pathway right here, this is actually where we're going to be able to walk when going up and down these structures because I haven't built it yet because I don't have enough andesite for the project yet, but we're able to just kind of go right up here like in a staircase fashion kind of similar to what we have going on right here you know it's kind of all interconnected all I want to do is just be able to go right into this little villager uh, trading area yeah there's three villagers in there I was like worried that there was only two but then we'd have a staircase right here go to the top where the AFK fish farm is and just be able to get bunches of resources all at once so really all of these things are for the next episode we're probably gonna have to do a mining session at some point because really andesite i don't want to just go out and mine andesite i want to be able to go out and mine diamonds because that's a lot more exciting so at the beginning of the next episode we are going to be doing a mining session being able to finish this project and hopefully be able to work on our underwater city we start at the beginning of this episode. But that, again, is all the time I have for today. So we'll have to do that in the next episode. I will see you guys all later. Bye.